we're about two months away from Election Day, and today, Republican and Democratic candidates for statewide office campaigned here in North Texas. Our political reporter, Jack Fink, takes you to both parties' Labor Day events. I'm Rochelle Garza. I am your Democratic nominee for Texas Attorney General. Democratic candidate Rochelle Garza told Dallas County Democrats she's fighting for the children and families of Texas. In an interview, she told me that means consumer protection and for abortion rights. So abortion rights is on the ballot in November, and a vote for a Democrat, a vote for myself, is a vote for abortion rights. Yeah. We're not interviewing today, y'all. He's at the Collin County Republican Party rally in Plano. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton didn't take reporters' questions, but he told supporters he's fighting to save the state of Texas against what he calls the federal government's efforts to trample over the state's rights. I think we've now sued the Biden administration 32 times in less than two years, as we are literally fighting for this thing we call the U.S. Constitution. Paxton still faces a trial on state felony fraud charges seven years after he was indicted. And he's reportedly under investigation by the FBI on allegations of bribery made by his former top lieutenants. Paxton has denied any wrongdoing, and both candidates say their opponents are wrong for Texas. In addition to both candidates for Texas Attorney General campaigning here in North Texas, the Democratic candidate for Lieutenant Governor also appeared here in Dallas. Mike Collier just won the backing of Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley, a Republican. I was very pleased and very honored that he endorsed my campaign. Collier told me he believes state Republican leaders are to blame for high property taxes. And Dan Patrick always says he's going to bring them down, but they always go up. It's because they aren't honest about it. In response to the endorsement, Patrick tweeted, quote, It's no surprise Judge Whitley, who made Tarrant County property taxes among the highest in Texas, doesn't get it. People are being taxed out of their homes by big spending local governments. Collier acknowledged he's behind Patrick in the polls, but says because it's only by single digits, he believes he can close the gap. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.